Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. For this Let's Play, we're playing Pool for One. More or less. This is Trick Shot for the Atari 2600, brought to you by iMagic in 1982. As you can see, you're playing pool in this game. There are four balls. Get used to seeing four balls due to sy system limitations and the like. And get ready to do some trick shots, I guess. By just going through all the game modes, you can see what you can do. One through nine. I should probably do the T modes first. One, one T is available by default as soon as you press the game reset button. That takes you into trick shot mode. There's also a two player option. Two T. One P is pool for one player. Well, pool, or 2P, is pool for two players. There's also two-player English billiards with modified rules due to the game only being able to show four balls at any given time. I don't have the rules memorized, and it's kind of hard for me to play this with two players, so I ever do get a chance to do two-player English billiards, it'll be as an extra video. It'll pop up as a bonus video one day. And then you have one through nine, which is the practice modes for all nine puzzles, I guess, for the trick shot mode. So one through nine give you different scenarios that you'll be seeing in the real trick shot mode for real. And I might as well just go ahead and scroll through them all, just briefly, so that way you can see what they look like. Feel free to pause if you must. And nine is the last one. I am going to go ahead and start with one, which is the first puzzle, more or less, in trick shot mode. And once I press the game reset, or once I reset the game, rather, this little dot appears to the right of the white cue ball. The white ball is the ball that you shoot. The little, I guess you could say beige square, is where your cue is. By tapping left and right on the joystick, you can position the cue behind the white cue ball and aim it at where you want to take it. I believe that you can aim the ball in one, two, three, four, five, six, oh wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm guessing that you can get aim the ball in 32 different directions. And you do have to get used to doing this. As for the fire button, you use that to hit the ball. The longer you hit the fire button, the longer you hold the fire button, rather, the harder you hit the ball. I have already used the joystick to aim the cue to the left of the white cue ball. And I'm going to hold down the fire button just long enough for the hardest shot I can do. It looked like I shouldn't have been able to make that shot, but I was. And that's actually how you make that shot. That one, I was kind of able to figure out on my own. The other eight shots, I unfortunately had to look up. I'm going to try number two and reset. You always have to reset the game whenever you switch to a game mode. And there's 15 modes if you count all of the practice boards for trick shot. Now if I can do this right, I should have the cue right here and I should hold this for long enough. 
Perfect. Basically, I needed to tap left twice. I just needed to move the cue just two positions to the left. Hold the fire button down long enough. I should hold it a little longer. Maybe. Or maybe that's as far as I'm going to get it to go and how fast is I'm going to get it to go. But once you get the cue right there, just hold the button down let go. You'll bounce out the blue ball and you'll hit the yellow ball. Orange ball? Red ball? I'll figure out the colors once I go to number three. Okay, so I, I can pretty much call that the red ball. Now for number three, we have a red ball, a blue ball, and a yellow ball. And we have to sync them all. You can't just leave one. Otherwise, you didn't complete the trick shot. This is where things get a little difficult. You want to take the cue to the left. Then you want to aim it right here. You kind of want the beige block representing the cube to be kind of lined up with the top of the white cue ball. Hold the button down. And it almost seemed like we shouldn't have been able to sink the blue ball after sinking the red and the yellow ones, but we did. Now, for shot four, where we just go back to two balls and the cue ball again. Now, I need to take the aiming block, the beige block, all the way to the left, then tap right once and then I should hold it down I should hold the fire button down to be more precise nah didn't do it or so I thought this stuff like this is why it took me going to game facts and Figuring out how to do everything. It, stuff like this makes everything really cryptic. And you just really have to think if you don't want to use game facts. That's what I'm trying to say. I ended up using game facts because all these trick shot practice modes just drove me up the wall. But thankfully, in the practice modes, you can do this for however many times you want, however long you want. You can keep practicing this until you get it exactly right. And now, we're going to do shot five. There is a bit of a convoluted way to do this. trying to read this description it says here you can have the cue point from the left and use lots of English on the right and by holding up or down while holding down the fire button okay I was aiming to the yeah, I was aiming to the right, not to the left. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to do it the simple way, which is tapping left just once so you have the blue, or not the blue, but the beige block right here, and then hold down the fire button. And you can just do it that simply. This was not on the game facts fact that I used to figure out all the trick shots up. This was not on the game facts FAQ that I used. Just tap once, have the beige block there, hold the button down, let it go. And now it's time to do number six. For number six, you want to put the 
cue below the cue ball, like so, then one, two, three, four. And if I did it right, I should be able to take the long roundabout way into sinking both balls. It's really weird. I might as well show it again. Because it's really weird how you have to just figure these things out. You just, you really have to think about angles and the speed at which you're hitting the ball and whatnot. Just to make that work. Really no surprise that since I'm not used to playing pool, I've never played pool, I had to use game facts just to figure everything out. Now for shot seven. We're back to the red, yellow, and blue balls. I need to get the ball over to here. I may have to fine tune this. I'll figure it out. Okay, had it right. You want to have the beige block just above where the top of the white cue ball ends to the left like I got it right here and then you can just hold the fire button and then let go as frustrating as these things are to figure out it can be a little rewarding to finally make things work now for shot eight You want to tap right twice so you have the block like that and shoot. If you press it too much, you'll have the block close to the bottom of the ball like this. If that's the case, you can tap left and then get it to where it is now. And then we can hold down the fire button and shoot. Doesn't seem like we can... It really doesn't seem like we can hit that red ball. Especially since we slow down so much near the end. But, we do eventually make it to the red ball, and we nudge it in. Because it's so close to the pocket. Now for the last shot of this. You need to bounce off two walls just to make this work. And I believe you have to get the cue to the left and one, two, three, four. Taps to the right with the joystick. You can play this with the joystick. I don't think you can play with the paddle though. Playing with the paddle would have been nice. Once you have the beige block like that, you can just go ahead and shoot. And that is how you complete all nine of the trick shot boards or puzzles or however you want to call them. Pretty interesting game, simple controls. Simple graphics, you, you can easily use to tell what is what. I mean, you can tell you're on a pool table. You can tell that the circle like things are balls. I like how they keep the aiming system a little simple. But at the same time, I wish that the beige, tiny beige block behind the ball was more of a line than a block. Like, a, not a long line or anything, but... A nice short line that gives you just enough detail that you can look at it and you can be like, ah, I'm aiming this way. And you can figure it out just a little bit. 
you do get used to the aiming system with a little bit of practice. And if you know what you're doing, you'll be able to make things happen in no time. So those were the nine trick shot practice modes, slash puzzles, slash boards, slash screens. And in the next video, I will be playing 1T. I will be playing the one player trick shot mode where I go through all these boards in one go. I only have one shot at each board. And if I don't nail it, I don't get all the points. It's not like anything horribly bad will happen if I miss out on points. It's just I've just played a less than perfect game. So join me next time for one player trick shot mode. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!